Steve Kinzer, Kyle Larson, front row. Here we go. Kinzer to the lead. He'll go high through three and four. Larson low. As they power down the front straightaway to complete lap number one. As we work lap number three, working lap number three of this 30 lap main event here at the Coco Pa Speedway. Kyle Larson now out in front. Ben Schuhart and Delansky. Brian Brown runs six. Van Dam seventh. Soldata eighth. Craig Kitzer ninth. Christopher Bell is tenth. Fuller is over. Wayne Johnson. Mason Moore and David Cradle, your top trouble. No, no! Oh no! Oh no! Kyle Larson leading flat right rear yellow. Three and four. It's Kinzer high. McMahon down low. Down the front straight away. Kinzer drops low through one and two. Up until last Friday night, he'd only raced here once before when it was the Yuma Speedway back in 1991. He was victorious that night, because he was most nights back in that era. To reel in Steve Kinzer ever so slightly. Delansky continues to run in third. Brian Brown is up to fourth, and now Henry Van Dam and Logan Schuhart battling for fifth place. Oh no, Craig Delansky out of the park. Craig Delansky, violent crash in turn one, was running third at the time. A wild ride for the number seven in a late race incident here. As the flagman reaches for the white flag, one lap to go for the king. Low through one and two as we watch him head down the back straightaway into three and out of a four, 60 years old. His first win in Yuma, Arizona since 1991. Steve Kids are victorious. At Winter Heat, your winner, your your winner in Yuma, Arizona, for the first time since 1991, Steve Kinser. Ben Dethridge, down to you, my friend. Steve Kinser, what a difference a day makes. Talk about your race tonight. Well, we got out. Uh, we, you know, we just sort of been working some bugs out and some stuff. Uh, the last couple of nights, this is sort of relatively new team. I mean, even though I drove for Tony for the last three years, but I haven't run out of his shop. I've been run out of my my shop with my cars, with his cars, but with me taking care of them. So it's nice to have somebody a little smarter than I am right now. They've got, you know, they just got good stuff at TSR. They're doing a good job with it. So he asked me to run a little bit uh, this year. I t was going to retire, but I decided to run a partial schedule and uh, it's good to get a win it is a good racetrack it's fun you know this is going to be a it's going to be a big event uh, it's sort of come together a little bit late where people have sort of had their australian schedule set to get set and things but uh, everybody knows it's going to be here next year it's, uh, it's going to be bigger and better